Hello everyone. As I mentioned in my yesterday's video, prices of gold and silver took a beating at opening today. Given the carnage in the metal space, I wanted to share my crash buying strategy and will explain why I think it is the best course of action at the moment. As the fear of recession percolates through the financial circles, prices of all assets might come under pressure. Gold, silver, stocks, real estate. Everything but the US dollar. Dollar is hitting new highs again, briefly pushing above 109 level during day session in US. This safe haven trade is causing all other assets to weaken. Also, new CPI data just released yesterday, set stage for a major rate hike by Fed later this month. This is also not helping gold and silver. So what should we, as precious metal investors, do at this juncture? Let's talk. First off, on a fundamental level, I still believe the metals will go up. As long as we have inflation and slowing GDP, I think we are safe. Yes, inflation will come down and yes, interest rates will go up. I still think we are far away from positive interest rates. For those of you new to stacking, positive interest rates mean interest on investment is higher than inflation. Negative rates are where inflation is higher than interest rates, thus reducing purchasing power of your money over time. So if I still believe precious metals have a long run higher ahead of them, how do we go about acquiring gold and silver? And I am just talking about physical gold and silver. Financial derivatives have their place also, but it's a different topic for another time. I never try to time the market tops and bottoms. Physical gold and silver are not the best instruments to speculate, it's long-term investments category for me. Because of that, under regular market conditions, I usually buy on a schedule. Just regularly spaced in time acquisitions, divided between gold and silver, based on a relative price of each other. Like if gold is flat for a bit and silver runs higher, I would emphasize gold purchase and vice versa. Generally speaking, I have more gold in my portfolio than silver, but it's a matter of preference. Gold is just less volatile and more established as a monetary asset. Silver has a large industrial component in its price, so I think of that as a play on commodities as opposed to inflation hedge. But this is very subjective. Now to stacking in times of volatility. If price goes up, I never chase it. I stick to scheduled purchases, pay no attention to the price. If gold or silver goes to the moon, great. If down, all the same to me. I have silver and gold that I purchased at the tops of the market, I have gold and silver purchased at bottoms. Only ounces matter to me, not the dollar equivalent. Now, when we have market drops like what we are seeing right now, my strategy is very different. If I still believe in gold and silver, it's time for me to buy more aggressively. The reason I never chase price on the way up, is that eventually, you will buy at the top. And if I chase that top with all my capital, it might cause massive losses. We have seen silver at almost $50. But on a way down it's a different story. The strategy of chasing, or is it called, cost averaging, works really well. As you cost average on the way down, at some point you will hit the bottom. This strategy would not work on stocks, please don't try it there. The stock can go and have gone to zero. Not so with gold and silver. So here is my crash buying strategy. If market crashes, it's hard to pinpoint the absolute bottom. So I just decide on how much I want to invest, divide it into three or four parts and deploy capital in smaller chunks, following gold or silver prices on the way down. For example, say silver is crashing below $19 per ounce and I am happy with this price level. I have a choice to deploy entire amount in one purchase. But if the price continues to slide, I would be losing all the way to the bottom. On the other hand, if I happen to be right and bought at the absolute bottom, I will get a maximum profit if price turn higher. While on paper it all sounds fantastic, in reality it will rarely if ever work. So instead of spending entire budget in one go, I would only spend one quarter and wait till price drop to say $18 per ounce and spend another quarter and so forth at say $17 and $16 per ounce. So instead of one transaction, I would have four smaller purchases at ever decreasing price. If I was initially right and the bottom was 19, I would walk away with just one quarter of potential profit. But if I cost averaged all the way to $16 per ounce, I would have a way better cost basis at risk of not deploying entire capital. If you ask any successful trader, they will most certainly say that preserving capital is more important than missed profit. So, to summarize. I buy on a schedule, regardless of prices of silver and gold going up or down. But in situation like we have right now, when gold and silver are crashing, I deploy additional capital in smaller chunks, cost averaging on the way down. This is just my opinion, I am not a financial advisor, just sharing what I do. So there you have it, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. 
As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and like, it really helps this channel to continue create more content like this. Until next time.